Joe, I can't do this. I'm not a newscaster. Look, you can do it. Just read it like it's a sportscast and we'll be fine. All yeah. right. Welcome to Hexagon Sports Update. I'm Rebecca Clary and my partner is Joe Kaplan. Due to budget cuts at Hexagon Update's news division, we at Hexagon Sports Update have been asked to give this year's news recap in place of our regular newscasters. Last fall, Republicans voted 45 times to defund Obamacare. But there was a flag on the play! False start! That move was going nowhere. Harry Reid wouldn't allow those bills to come up for a vote in the Senate. Talk about your pass interference. Then, with no timeouts remaining, House Speaker Boehner refused to put a clean continuing resolution on the floor for a vote. Flag defensive holding! Holding the nation hostage, forcing a government shutdown. <laughs> Oh, wait, what's this? Interception! <laughs> the Democrats demonized the Republicans for the shutdown. And the shutdown went on. It was at five days, then the 10 days, the 15 days is at the 17 day mark. Touchdown! As the Democrats scored big on this massive Republican blunder. Finally, a clean continuing resolution was being considered by both houses. Another flag, encroachment against Senator Ted Cruz for interfering in House affairs by urging House members to break ranks with Speaker Boehner, who finally supports a con clean continuing resolution. There's the snap, the CR's in the air, and it's caught. The CR passed, the government reopens, and the debt ceiling was raised. Away another penalty, flag offsides, as the Tea Party criticizes Republican Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell for voting with the Democrats to reopen the government getting nothing in exchange. Okay, well, back to October 1st. Time to see how Obamacare's been going. There's the kickoff. It's healthcare.gov. <laughs> oh my, the kick seems mighty wobbly. <gasps> and it's a fumble. <laughs> the Obama administration has totally botched the implementation of Obamacare. And Rebecca, this was an unforced uh, fumble. The Republicans had no part in this rollout at all. But uh-oh, another flag, another false start as countless Americans log on to healthcare.gov only to find they get logged off. These penalties just will not quit. <laughs> no, Joe, they sure won't. Oh, and now another flag, personal foul. Untold Americans get cancellation notices from their insurers. Well, they'll be left without coverage or face skyrocketing premiums. <laughs> Even toddlers get declined coverage. Uh, but wait, Rebecca, that last penalty is under review. Let's wait for the call. Uh, here it is. After official review, the last penalty is overruled. These stories are largely based on uninformed and false reporting by Fox News. Oh, but there's a flag anyway. Roughing the passer as Obama's poll numbers take a nosedive. Uh, they sure do, as signing onto the website to purchase health care is a nightmare. Not getting resolved until December 1st. This is an obvious delay of game penalty. But back in the Senate, there's a read option. <laughs> Get it, read as in Harry Reid. Yeah, you can do this. <laughs> Stymied with record filibusters, Reid changes the rules, ends the filibuster for most presidential nominations. But McConnell is incensed. He is demanding a penalty flag. And there's the flag, illegal procedure. <laughs> McConnell is happy with the call. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Wait, what's that? Reid has ordered the Senate parliamentarian to put the flag back in his pocket. There's no flag on the play. I repeat, there is no flag on the play. Filibusters are gone and the president's nominations are rolling on. Another touchdown, Democrats. <laughs> well, 2013 sure was rough. And finally, in 2014, in a rare show of bipartisanship, the House passes a clean bill to raise the national debt limit. The clean bill goes on to the Senate for easy passage. There's the snap. Reed has time. He's looking to McConnell. There's the pass. Oh no! Interception! Ted Cruz demands a 60 vote cloture, forcing members on his own team to vote in favor of raising the debt ceiling. This will not go down well in the locker room. Well, as we wrap up our recap, this game is far from over, and it seems that the sides are pretty much tied. There's only one thing that's going to break this logjam, and that's a Hail Mary pass. Immigration reform, here we come! <laughs> Good, Good night. night.